Hey guys, how's it going? Textbix here, hope you're doing well. So, by now you've probably heard about the new iPad Pro with the M1 chip inside of it, and there's been a lot of talk about it seeming like a great idea on paper, but in practice not actually being able to reach its full potential. Despite it having ultra high-end hardware, one issue that the iPad Pro seems to face is, well, itself, iPad OS. Back in 2019, Apple introduced iPad OS alongside iOS 13 with all of the same features, but with some additional functionality such as multiple windows for apps, a redesigned today view that you could pin to the home screen, a dedicated files app, and much, much more. This was all in the name that the iPad deserved its standalone operating system, as before then, it was mainly just considered a giant iPhone for media consumption and playing games. Fast forward to the time of filming with iPadOS 14.5 and we have further mouse and trackpad support, compact UI elements for things like Siri, and Scribble so that you can use the Apple Pencil to write text into any input field. But now with the iPad Pro containing the M1, the chip supposedly designed solely for the Mac lineup, it begs the question, why doesn't this thing just run Mac OS? From a hardware standpoint, when paired with an accessory such as the Magic Keyboard or the Logitech Combo Touch, the iPad Pro is essentially no different to a MacBook except for the fact that the software isn't desktop class. The running theory so far has been that Apple is afraid to put macOS on the iPad because otherwise it would cannibalize into the MacBook sales, but now that they themselves have put the M1 chip into the iPad, I'm not too sure as to what they actually want anymore. I do understand that it would be a little crazy to have a full desktop version of macOS on the iPad, but I really think that they need to merge iPadOS and macOS in some way, shape or form in order to make use of that M1 chip. Otherwise, why not just stick to the A14 from the iPhone lineup? Apple has been known in the past to say time and time again that they do not want to merge iOS and macOS. Are you merging iOS and macOS? So I'd like to take a moment to briefly address this question. No. <laughs> of course not. But then they also say things like this. How's the software going in the mixed reality headset? I don't know anything about what you're talking about. So how could they possibly merge them without plain copying macOS onto the iPad? My theory and many other people's theories are that at WWDC 2021 in June, they will merge the Mac App Store with the iPad slash iOS App Store. Since iOS apps can run on the Macs that have the M1, why shouldn't macOS apps be able to run on the iPad if they share the same chip? This would by far be an incredible upgrade, as the iPad Pro has essentially all of the same internals as the MacBook Air, and it would literally be able to smoothly run pro desktop apps like DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop and more, as well as of course the long-awaited Apple exclusives like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro and Xcode. This idea has actually been in the rumours for a while. In fact, the man himself John Prosser, who's a very reputable Apple leaker, reported all the way back in March of 2020 that Apple has been planning to put all of their pro apps on the iPads, but RAM was the main issue. And now that it seems that this issue has been resolved with the iPad Pro, as it has up to 16GB of RAM, more than my iMac over here, I'm just saying, you know, it would be a good time to put it on there now. But other than that, what else could they also do? As mentioned, I don't think that they will replace iPadOS with macOS just yet, but something that I've been thinking about constantly whilst I was writing this video is Samsung DeX. For those of you who don't know, Samsung DeX is a mode that Samsung offers on their tablets and smartphones where you can essentially access all of the data that's on your device, but in a desktop, almost Windows 10 meets Chrome OS style interface. The variant on the Galaxy Tab series where you can go from Android to DeX with one tap is the variant that has caught my eye the most. Imagine if you had, say, a toggle in Control Center where with one tap you could go from the normal iPad OS style interface that's optimized for touch input to a desktop one with proper versions of Finder, Launchpad, resizable windows, a menu bar at the top that is intended solely for mouse and trackpad support. Or actually, even better than that, what if they made it more magic? I can imagine Apple doing a typical Apple move of showcasing a really seamless transition when you just magnetically attach the iPad Pro to the Magic Keyboard case and then the iPad knows that you've attached it and then it switches to the macOS style desktop without you needing to even touch a thing. And just like that, the 239 pound keyboard case goes from just an accessory to a must have. Apple, uh, if you want to hire me then uh, Go and hit me up. Either way, I think that this second idea is much less likely to happen anytime soon. But honestly, I think that would be the best thing that Apple could do. 
both the base 11 inch iPad Pro with all of its accessories and the base MacBook Air cost practically the same price, and like this, they wouldn't cannibalize one another. If anything, it would be better as then we, the consumer, would have more options. Either a tablet computer hybrid that can do basically everything, or a dedicated laptop if you require the full macOS experience. Even if they did cannibalize the MacBook sales, it's Apple killing Apple, and as Steve Jobs famously once said, if you don't cannibalize yourself, then someone else will. And that's about it for this video. If you have any more crazy ideas like this one, make sure to drop them down below in the comments, I'd love to hear them. And as always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe as it would really help the channel out. This is Texfix here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.